Duke Kan Anamoku, Hawaiian American. Duke grew up on the island of Hawaii. When he was four years old, his dad taught him to swim the Hawaiian way. He took Duke out in a canoe, tied a rope around his ankle, and tossed him in the water. <laughs> Duke struggled, but then he swam. He found that he loved to swim. Every day after work, he would go to the beach to swim and to surf with his friends. One day, Duke entered a swimming race. He wowed everyone with how fast he was. People watching, people watching thought the stopwatch timing the race was broken. They couldn't believe a brown boy from Hawaii could swim so fast. His secret was a new swimming style called the Kahanamoku Kick. For ebbing swimming stroke, Duke would kick his feet six times to move himself quickly through the water. Not only did the kick help with not only did the kick help him win first place, but he beat the world record. Whoa. Swish, 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 swish. Duke was invited to bigger competitions. The first races were tough. Duke had never been in a swimming pool, and the water was cold, and the rules in the pool were different than the rules in the ocean. But Duke worked hard, practiced, and got better. Just like in Hawaii, he started to win every race. Big crowds came to see him compete. They'd never met a Hawaiian person before, much less one who could swim so fast. The biggest competition in the world was the Olympics. And in 1912, Duke traveled all the way to Sweden to show the world what a Hawaiian swimmer could do. Far away from home, Duke overslept and was late to his first race. Ugh, the referee would not let him compete. Duke was devastated. The other women, the other swimmers wanted Duke to have a fair chance. So they convinced the referee to let him race. He did not waste his chance. Duke showed the world his new Kanamoku kick and won the race. He was the first Hawaiian to win an Olympic medal. He went on to win five more. Duke traveled the world meeting new people and he taught them about Hawaiian culture. He taught them his famous kick. He even taught them how to surf like Hawaiians, doing tricks and riding big waves. Duke helped surfing become a popular sport around the world. Today, surfing is an Olympic sport, just like swimming. Duke was a swimmer, a surfer, a teacher, and a Hawaiian. Duke inspires us to work hard and share our passions with others. Thanks, Duke. Surf on. The end.